Hi guys, it's Two Super Fan here uh, with a new video. The it's another bootleg because you know I hard bootleg. Um, we got Extreme Action Fighters. Yep, more bootleg uh, wrestling figures. Uh, so we got Extreme Action Fighters, two pack of figures and two weapons. Pretty cool. Another pound shop special these were. And here's the second pack. So first looking at the box, uh, we start with this guy. Um as you can see it's this figure. We didn't get them all, but this figure is the one at the top here. But he has like different paintings on here. Uh we still got his tattoo, we still got the dragon and stuff like that. But you can actually see this one is actually more articulated. How well I can get that in there. But he has like a stupid microphone. He has like a crotch piece, separated articulated legs, and then he has an articulated uh, el elbow, and then he has uh, red wrist tape. But then the figure itself just has plain black and it has none of the articulation you see. So uh, let's open this one up and then we'll see some extra parts of the packaging hopefully. Okay, tried to tear as less packaging off as I could. So we got a wrestling ring which no matter how many times I see these fake wrestlers they have a wrestling ring on there which looks awesome and cool but you, I've never seen the, an actual wrestling ring uh, when you go to purchase these so uh, we didn't pick um, this guy up this one here but his body is the same one that's in this pack except in the other pack I have but except he, he has a face rather than a mask um, a black guy here, the Kurt Angle's short on. Um, got quite a few types of wrestlers on there. And again, a lot of them are using like the same body type, but with different heads. So we got unmasked guy there. <laughs> uh, quite a few wrestlers around the ring. Uh, join for us new. What does that mean? Join for us new. And the ring has a big silver X in the middle and says it has the logo Extreme Action Fighters. Um, pretty cool. It's got the eight sided ring and then it's got a cage that goes around it. So if anyone actually sees these, uh, could you tell me about them? If you see any of the, uh, the actual rings or any of these figures. The, they have the actual articulation rather than these ones. But I'm guessing the ones on the pack do exist as a separate set. And they just use the same packaging. So let's open this up. Um, very loose package in there. So our accessories, we've got a ring guard. Pretty cool. With stubs on the bottom, which don't come off. Which is actually pretty cool because the WWE ones. I lose them because of the ends just fall off and that's it, they're gone. But um, these are pretty cool. Uh, I'm just sure it's standing up. And box. Stands up, what more can you ask for? It's a ring guard. Um, you'd need a lot uh, to go around. You'd need one, two for the entrance, then three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, seven, I think, would cover the ring. But uh, yeah, these are pretty cool. So if I did have the ring, I actually would try and get seven of these pieces just to make it look extra cool. Uh, the other accessory is a meow 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 meow. 
chainsaw. <laughs> um, not as big as the other one from the other bootlegs I had, but similar kind of thing. I think it's just a smaller scope to the exact same thing. So let's um. The main reason I buy these is because the awesome accessories, and this actually fits in my uh Kane's hand, my custom Kane. So <laughs> Kane can wield a chainsaw for his routine. Pretty cool. Shame I don't have a chainsaw, Charlie. But there you go. I need. I have a Terry Thunk, I think, somewhere. Or do I? I can't remember if I have a Terry Thunk. But I am after a Chainsaw Charlie from the classic series. And how cool will that go with it? Awesome. Uh, just needs to paint it red. <laughs> Put that aside as well. And then we also have the figures. Yay! Which, there's only two points of articulation, which is the hands, the uh, shoulders, the mask. The neck joint, there's just no neck joint at all. The mask is, uh, I think it's Aquos from CMLL. It's mask design. What's the things? Or oh, is it Aquas Kid or something like that? Uh, we've got the winged <laughs> heart tattoo there. Kind of weird. Don't know where that's going to pick up. And we've got like a weird column thing. And then some bob wire. You're not really a fighter without some Bob Wire. Yeah? Uh, he's got some shorts on with Rexeter. Is that where he's from? Is he from Rexeter? Or his name Rexter? I don't know. We've got some gold flames. Which kind of look weird. Kind of like UFC style shorts. I think that's where they were going with this one. The UFC. Uh, we've got a dragon tattoo on the chest. And we got uh, an angel with the horriblest face in the world. If the autofocus works, I think we're going to see it. But there you go. And then we have do 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 dragon with again same articulation just at the shoulders. Um, we got some red boots on this bad boy and some red shorts with some silver flames, and then white dragon with blue writing on. We got Chinese symbol on his chest. And then some manly bob wire that goes all the way around. How extreme is that? Extreme. We <laughs> got the, the black gloves and the face is kinda scary. It's print painted right, but there's like a black scuff mark on his face. And these all suffer from uh bad accidents because they all have screws in their legs. <laughs> It's like Jigsaw, Billy the Puppet has attacked these guys. Uh, one, two, three, four screws in each of the figures. I'll put that in to the side. And I drop one of my other wrestlers' heads. Um, open this box up. We don't care about the packaging. Oh, by the way, it's clear on the other side with a side onion on, not the tree. Uh, open this up. Yes, I am an Ashens fan, and um, I actually did bootleg videos before Ashens that were wrestling figures. So, without people going, "Oh, you only copying off Ashens?" No, I'm not copying off Ashens. Um, if anything, that was a tribute to Ashens because I'm such a huge fan of him. But I have done bootleg figure reviews before Ashens did, or at least the wrestling ones. So, no hate comments about that, please. Um, this time we have a dumbbell. Which is really cool for the Jacks ones. And again, we have Kane. Show these off. Put it in his hand. Just the thumb to get all weird. There, fits in his hand perfectly. And all I have to do to make it fit in is just paint the dumbbells black to match the giant dumbbell that I did have on my desk, but it's gone. Uh, there, and just paint it black to match the giant one. But yeah, pretty cool. Um, but these would never fit in the hands of the actual wrestlers they came with. Uh, we'll test that. I should have showed that with the chainsaw as well. But let's have a look. Um, actually, look at that. They actually do fit in their hands. 
How shocking is that? Uh, we'll try the chainsaw. And that actually fits as well. How cool is that? I'm very um, amazed that they actually fit in these guys. We have a baseball bat with spikes on the end. Um, test if that fits in as well. Uh, it's a bit loose, but pretty cool. Uh, as well, they do fit in all the others because it's just the same sculpt hand. Before you go like, oh, he didn't test it on his hands. And we got a cool little chair that copies the old WCW style of the two bar piece that when you turn it and you've got to latch it onto there hard to do this on the camera but it latches onto this piece here so you can use it as a chair but pretty small especially for like the WWE Jax figures it is far too small as you can see <laughs> too small but um, as a chair what do you think? Grab this cane. Tell us what do you think. Um, kind of cool, but it just opens up straight away, so kind of can't really use that as a weapon for my stop motions if I ever finally start doing them. Um, bow, bow, bow. and these guys obviously won't sit in them because there's no articulation in their legs. Uh, this guy is really cool. How cool is this guy? His name is Chuck. Uh, he says no to tattoos, which is uh, funny because they all have tattoos apart from Chuck. He's copied some more Joe's tights, the green and the black. Uh, we've got like a lion or a liger, some shit on there. Tiger. Uh, green gloves on both sides, but then copies the black and green onto his boots. I can move that there, black and green. Uh, can you actually say that? Black and green. Uh, but that's not what makes him so cool. What makes him cool is he has solid gold hair, and he has a cross. Um, would you say that was a cross or a Union Jack? Yep, that's definitely a cross <laughs> on top of his uh, head. Uh, that's pretty awesome look for Chuck. Uh, again, the same articulated arms with the weird arm hanging out at the side. Makes it look like he's uh, broke his arm. Looks like he's playing guitar. Bow, bow, bing, 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 bing. Air guitar for the wheel, because I'm Chuck and I'm open. Uh, we have another masked superstar. Um, this is so amazing. <laughs> they went to town with black paint on this guy. His name is Androd. <laughs> uh, black shorts with the white lines on. And we've got Androd. I didn't sell it, say it wrong. That's actually his name, Androd. Um, then we got a tattoo that has an A for probably Androd. <laughs> we got some Japanese texts in flame. Um, we got some weird giant marks and a bird. <laughs> giant marks and a bird. <laughs> we got Batista's belly button tattoo. <laughs> Um, what else we got? We got the Omega Wrestling logo. How awesome is that? The Omega Wrestling. So this guy's obviously wrestled for Omega. <laughs> oh, such a huge fan. Uh, we got a Coliseum or a crown. I'm not quite sure what that one is. Okay. Um, and then some random pictures that are just looks like squiggly lines. Uh, the mask has an R written on it. Which is kind of weird, seeing his name's Android. <laughs> Silver and black, and then we have some um, tape pieces coming down, like uh, it's gone. Ah, El Mystico? No, it's not El Mystico. Ah, why do I have memory when I can't use it? Do -do 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 Give me a second. Facebook. Brandon. Generico. Yeah, similar to Generico's uh, hair. 
here the types the, the we had stuff coming down so yeah black and silver mask really sucks balls but there you go that's it let's do super fun saying it next yeah please like sub and comment bye